Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make some soil for um, both pots. Okay, all you need is some brown cotton yarn, some stuffing, uh, a weight for the crochet pots, uh, scissors, a 3mm hook and a yarn needle. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description for how to make this terracotta pot. So make a slip knot. And chain two. Okay. Go back into the first chain that you made. And make six single crochets. Alright, pull the tail tight. In the next row, you want to increase from 6 to 12, so we need to put two single crochets in each stitch. All right, in the next row, we need to increase from 12 to 18. So one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch. Okay, so it's one single crochet and one increase in the next stitch until you get back to the stitch marker. Okay, in the next row, you want to increase from 18 to 24. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and one increase in the third stitch. All right, so it's two single crochets and an increase all the way around. Okay, so now that I've increased to 24, we need to increase to 30. So I'm going to change the pattern. I'm going to put my increases first. So one increase. 
and then three single crochets. Okay, one increase and three single crochets all the way back to the stitch marker. Okay, so now that we have 30 cro uh, single crochets around, we need to increase to 36. So, single crochet 4. And one increase. So four single crochets and one increase for this round. Okay, so now that I've increased to 36, I'm just going to do one row of single crochet. So just one single crochet in each stitch. And I'll come back and show you how that looks. Okay, so once you've done one row of single crochet, it should look like this. And it should fit just in there. Okay, so the next thing to do is to cut a long tail so you can stitch it in. Okay, pull that out. So all you need to do is Add your weight on the inside. Just gonna go through the second stitch. Go through the back loop of the last stitch. Right. So once you've added your weight in there, you just need to stitch it on. And then once you've half stitched it on, just add your stuffing. Okay, so I'll just show you, I'm going through these back loops of the terracotta pot. And then I'm skipping over the first brown loop and going into the back one. Okay. So into that one. And into the back one.
Okay, so that's how it looks after it's stuffed and stitched. Right. Okay, for this next one, we just want to make something that sits in here. Nice and firm. All right, make a slip knot. And chain two. Go back into the first chain. And single crochet six. Pull the tail tight. And then we want to increase each stitch. So two single crochets in each stitch will take you from six single crochets to 12. One too many. Okay, so in the next row we need to increase from 12 to 18. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one increase in the second stitch. Okay, one single crochet, one increase in the next one. Okay, so you do that until you get back to the stitch marker again. Okay, so now I have 18 single crochets around. I'm going to increase to 24. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and one increase in the third one. All right, so two single crochets and an increase. Okay, so now that we have increased to 24, we're going to increase to 30. So single crochet three. And an increase.
So now I have increased to 30. I'm going to increase to 36. So four single crochets and an increase. Alright, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to increase from 36 to 42. So, five single crochets and an increase. Okay, so I have 42 now. Depends on how big your pot is. Okay. So now I'm just going to do six rows of single crochet. Just six rows, one single crochet in each stitch. Okay. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, here's how it looks after I've done my six rows of 42. If this is too big, just um, increase to 36 and then do 6 rows of 36. But that fits in there pretty well. Okay. So the next row we need to start to decrease. So single crochet five. And then do a decrease in the next stitch. So go through the front loop of the first stitch. And the front loop of the second stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. 
yarn over, pull through two. Okay. So it's five single crochets and a decrease until you get back to the stitch marker. Okay. So through the front loop of the first stitch, front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you should have 36 around. Now we need to decrease to 30. So, single crochet four. And do a decrease. Okay, so now we've decreased down to 30, we need to decrease to 24, so single crochet 3, and then make a decrease. Okay, so just do that all the way back to the stitch marker, 3 single crochets and a decrease. Okay, now I have 24 around. I'm going to decrease to 18, so two single crochets, and a decrease, okay, so just do that until you get back to the stitch marker, okay, so now that I have 18 around, I'm going to stop and stuff it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stuffed it, so it's in there quite well. Right, so the next row, we need to decrease from 18 to 12. So it's one single crochet and one decrease. Okay, so now that I have 12 single crochets around, I'm just going to decrease each stitch so we get down to 6 single crochets. Okay. 
So it's just six decreases. Okay, so I've decreased down to six. I'm just going to cut my yarn, pull it through. And then I'm just going to weave it through the front loop of each of the last six stitches. Okay, and pull it tight and then just weave this in. Alright, and now we have something to add our flowers or our cactuses to. Thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video